Just as technology has changed the way we communicate and work, it has also changed the way we travel. We travel a lot smarter by using a variety of tools to help us safely reach our destination. We use voice commands to guide us. We check travel information online before we hit the road. We take advantage of electronic toll lanes to bypass traffic congestion. We look at electronic travel time signs over the freeway to determine if we should switch routes. But still, whether you're in the driver's seat, with a carpool, or on a bus, most of us spend a good portion of our day traveling, which exposes us to the dangers of traffic. To remedy this, WashDOT is exploring new ways to increase traffic safety by making our roads and bridges smarter, safer, and more efficient. We'll start here on northbound I-5 between Boeing Field and Seattle where collisions are responsible for at least a quarter of the traffic backups. By expanding 21st century technology on this six-mile stretch of freeway, we'll soon have the ability to help drivers respond to unforeseen traffic jams by alerting them while on the road with real-time information about collisions and other incidents. Starting at Boeing Access Road, you will see electronic signs spanning over the freeway that will alert you to traffic conditions in real time. These active traffic management signs will display variable speed limits to tell you what speed you should drive and in which lane based on the conditions up ahead. Drivers will see these high-tech signs with updated information every half mile into downtown Seattle. On North I-5 between Boeing Access Road and I-90, accidents are frequent. These yellow markers show multiple clusters of sideswipe, rear end and other collisions along the freeway. Notice the relationship between congestion and collisions. Where there is more congestion, there are more collisions. Europe has used active traffic management to reduce congestion-related traffic collisions by 30%. WashDOT plans to do the same. The signs above I-5 will be automated and operated via sensors embedded beneath the roadway that detect traffic slowdowns and adjust speed limits for the conditions. The electronic signs will automatically adjust the posted speed limit, providing drivers advance notice to slow down long before they reach the point where the traffic stops. These lower speeds will prevent the panic braking that leads to collisions. If a collision does happen, it will be less severe. A crash that typically results in injury to the driver and passengers will more likely be a minor fender bender. In the case of a traffic collision, you may see the first set of signs reading 60 miles per hour, the regular speed on I-5. The next set may show 50 miles per hour, and the following set 40 miles per hour as you get closer to the backup. You may also see an X over a blocked lane, or a message alerting you to change lanes to avoid a backup. Staff in WashDOT's Traffic Management Center will also monitor the signs and conditions using cameras. They can manually change displayed speeds or close lanes to get emergency vehicles to the scene of a collision. Operating our highways more efficiently is one of the strategies of Moving Washington, WashDOT's three-pronged effort to fight congestion. By operating more efficiently, adding capacity where it makes sense, and providing transportation choices, we can have a smarter highway system that is responsible, reasonable, and sustainable. To learn more about smarter highways and active traffic management technology, visit our website.